Steam? VR? On an Oculus Quest? Who would have thunk? We all know that it's possible now, but do you have the hardware that is needed and do you know what software you need? Okay, so you want to run that Steam VR with this thing. Yeah, your Oculus, Oculus 2. Well, we have software and hardware that we have to take into consideration. First thing I want to talk to you about is your Wi-Fi. You have an AC router, okay? Unless it's one of the beefiest AC routers out there, I would not attempt it. I have a Linksys AC 1900 or 1900 AC. That one just isn't gonna handle it. I have over, over 12 clients on it at one time and it's not doing it. It, it just, it will not do this. The latency is too bad. The performance from the processor on there is too low as well as the RAM. So, like I said, if you don't have a beefy AC router, you're gonna want to get an AX router. Now your, I don't wanna say bottom of the line, but your lower end AC routers just for this or just a couple of other clients like your phone, you know, things like that, may be able to process it just fine. So you can do that. And the one that I recommend is the TP-Link AX1500, okay? That is the one that everybody is raving about. It's between $70 and $80 right now, and it's not a bad thing if you have just a few clients to put on there, as well as your Oculus Quest. So this is what I'd recommend if you're gonna just run that on this, as well as a few clients, or if you wanna just make it an access point, you can do that and then be good that way. With, with that being said, what I picked up after all the research I was doing last week was this. The ASUS, what is it called? AX5400 Dual Band RT AX82U. I know, it's a mouthful and all the bells and whistles on here, I didn't even have to engage in order to get this to work at all. I didn't have to put the QoS on, I didn't have to do the gaming application or, or whatever it's called on here. I didn't have to do any of that in order to get this to run very well with the Oculus. And I have 12 plus clients on the network running all at the same time when I tested it. All right. So now you've probably decided to either purchase a new router, have it all set up, and now you want to play your quest on it. So these are the programs you're going to need. I will put these down in the description area so you can just click on those links and you'll be able to go to the download page now the first one you're going to want to download if you have not done this already and that's the oculus store or oculus program it's going to be a large one from what i understand i already had it downloaded just give yourself some time if you have a slow internet now that you're in the Oculus, Oculus Quest, Oculus Quest 2. You want to go to the search area and search for virtual desktop. Just like this. And then it will come up. You click on virtual desktop. You want the paid version. I'm going to say it again. You're wanting the paid version. If you're in the United States, it's going to be $19.99. If you're in any other area, it's gonna be whatever it's gonna be. 
Now with that out of the way, you have to do this. Go back to your PC and download the PC version. When you're down downloading everything on your PC, you're going to want to go to the Oculus program and you're going to want to sign into that. After that, you're going to want to start up virtual desktop. It's going to come up with the box. You're going to want to sign in with your sign in for your Oculus Quest sign in or the Facebook sign in, whichever one you're using. When I did this, I had to use a Facebook sign in. It's just the way it was. Now, once you're done with configuring that, there are other things that you're going to want to configure. After you launch virtual desktop in your headset, you may get this right here. You may get just a blank screen with nothing, nothing there. You want to hit your left controller menu button. That will bring this up. You may get a scanning for device or some message like that, but it should come up. When it comes up, you'll be able to address the settings. In the settings area, I don't touch anything but the frame rate right here. And I match that up with the streaming frame rate. And you'll find out what's best for you just by trial and error. I would start with 72 frames per second. Now on the bit rate, I would start at 65 megabits per second and work your way up to, I believe it's 95 is where you're going to want to have it. Uh, somewhere in between there will be your sweet spot. I have not played with it. I don't play on the Oculus that much. Most of my stuff is on Steam VR. And I have a, a, a headset, the HTC Vive, that I use for that. Now let's see. Like I said, settings this is the only thing you're want, gonna wanna do. Streaming, you're gonna mess with mostly this stuff right here. Over here, uh, you can leave that checked. It doesn't matter. Your, you know, if it if your GPU does use it, great. If it doesn't, it won't matter. Increase color vibrancy. I don't think I uh, checked that one or unchecked it, as you can see. But I did uncheck video buffering and extra late uh, extra latency mode. I unchecked these two right here. I left unchecked. Uh, let's see here and right here. This is the Only thing that I was in question about so I tried these two things and I went back down to This right here. Um, I like I said, I haven't tweaked it out. I might be able to move it up here I have a Vega 64 so I'm probably somewhere in between there and I might be able to get away with a medium graphics quality um, but that's that's probably the only thing I can change right here. Now, at that point, you'll you'll definitely find out if it's working on your old router if you use that. If you actually decide to upgrade, which I highly recommend, just for I hate this word, but future proofing, uh, everything's going to be going over to the AX. And with the AX, you're going to get longer battery life, faster speeds at greater lengths. So it's a win-win. There you go. That's the information I have for you. I hope it is very, very informative for you as well as helpful. Also, I'll have references down below you can refer to. So please use those. Please hit me up if you have any other questions. Also, if you want to help support this channel, I have the links for the two different routers that I recommended. By the way, none of this is sponsored. If you like this video, please hit that like button. 
subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos. And this is Chris saying out.